it's me. If you don't know who me is, well, that's me. Spectacular scores by 118 for people who don't know. And today, I have a new costume. You guys remember me talking about that custom Scar Aspire cane design that I got commissioned from my friend Logan, the pattern at least? Well, it finally arrived. Um, I did a video saying that I didn't think it would arrive when I was home, and it actually arrived on the last day that I was here before I go back up to college. So it's actually very good timing, uh, and um, very exciting because if you guys aren't caught up on this costume, uh, go watch my other videos about it, but I will give you a quick rundown of it just so you're not completely confused. Zentai Zone for the first time is doing color fabric costumes, so that means you can send them a pattern for them to do and they will print it on color fabric. Um, or at least something similar to that, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I I created my own custom Scar Spire Cane design because everyone was doing it in our Discord. And uh, my friend, my, my very good friend Logan, thank you Logan so much for this, said, you know what, I will, I'll make you a pattern for that uh, if, you, if you show me your face, since I did a face reveal to him and he made me a pattern for it. Uh, his Instagram is Yeet Yourself Off A Cliff. I will link it down below. Please go follow him. Without him, this video would not be able to be made and I wouldn't be able to have this costume or this pattern and all this stuff. And so basically, uh, Logan is very, very, very gracious for doing this and very responsible for this video. <laughs> so thank you, Logan. So basically, yes, Zentazen is doing color fabrics for the first time. And um, I'm, I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about this costume I got. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as usual, I am going to start <laughs> with the mask. Nothing too special here. I'm using my old uh, E1 Zonicos. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm using my old E1 shell from Etsy. Um, pretty decent shell overall. Um, so basically the, the, the mask is black. You can actually tell the difference just by looking at it. Um, or at least I can in person, uh, compared to like black dye sub that is printed on white. This is clearly black fabric. So no, Zenta Zone completely did this right. They didn't uh, skip out. They didn't accidentally give me a dye sub suit or anything. That I, was, I, had, I had some worries, guys. I had some fears. I was like, Please don't tell me that they're going to accidentally just send me a dye sub. Like, they're not just going to print this on a dye sub and say, oh, we don't know how to do color fabric, but you paid for a costume, so here's a dye sub. No, 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 completely color fabric. They did it just right. So nothing too special going on here with this mask, this face shell, everything. So don't really need to worry about this. Um, I'll put this on later. Uh, standard black mask. I did get, actually, one more thing about the mask. Sorry, don't mean to be jumping around too much, but I did get a zipper on the back of it, and it's detached, as you can see. So standard stuff right there. So here is the costume itself, the moment of truth, my own very custom, personal, spectacular Scar Aspire, 118 Scar Aspire cane design. Look at this thing. This is amazing. Oh my god, like the colors are very, very rich, and that is because it's on color fabric. Again, they did not cheap out on this, um, all of its color fabric. So here's the front of the suit, and here's the back. I also got the uh, screen printed emblems, and I'll go into that in a little bit when I go into first person view. Um, now, one thing about this pattern, that I, or it, well, both the pattern and the costume, uh, that I want to point out is that they, uh, I, I don't know how they did this, and this is what I meant uh, when I, earlier when I said something like that, because none of the uh, dot texture showed up here, or, and obviously, I don't, I didn't think that the black would show up, but none of the texture on the black showed up, so like, None of the texture really showed up on, from the pattern. I'm actually completely okay with that because when I was telling Logan about making this pattern and all that, I was on the fence about having pattern, or not pattern, <laughs> having textures on my pattern. I didn't really know if I wanted that because I wanted my color fabrics to kind of be like clean. I would have been fine if it, he, he did add dock textures and it looked great on the pattern, um, but I'm completely fine that it didn't show up or whatever. Or And so I think what they really did is that they used the pattern like as a base and they kind of worked around it. So like what I think they did is that they kind of just used the pattern that I gave them as a base so that like they could like, I guess, section off parts of it and then do it that way. I don't know how they did it because they denied the color fabric pattern on its own. They asked for a singular regular pattern. And so I don't know if that's how they did it, but they did it a little weird, but like it, it came out beautifully in the end. I'm completely fine. So basically I think that means that like if you try to have a pattern that, that you're really like wanting the textures on it. I don't know for sure if that's going to show up on your costume. Um, but if you just want a clean color fabric, no textures at all, no problems, because that's what I got here. 
Um, so yeah, basically the rundown of this design is that I created a cane design. I wanted to implement elements of Kane's Scarlet Spider design. So, you know, obviously the spiders on the front and back and like the black triangle here where the back emblem goes down into. And I wanted to implement like designs from Spider-Man, like Peter Parker's design. So you can see how I have the black gloves here because Kane only has on his actual costume has like the black fingertips. And it's a little hard to tell. Well, okay, I'm all over the place, sorry. And you see that it has like the black section here, like how in Spider-Man suit he has like the blue going into the red down there and it actually sections off and it's a little hard to hold it up I'll show this later but the black actually goes under the arm kind of like how the blue would on Spider-Man's costume and it connects to the black glove here and I think that like they they sewed that pretty well I really do appreciate how they did that um and so same thing on the other side and I actually got for the first time ever <laughs> a Zentai Zen costume I got Kung Fu shoes, and again, here's the black boots, how it looks on the pattern. A little weird how I'm holding it up, I'm sorry. But yeah, I got Kung Fu shoes with Zenta done for the first time. My first time ever getting Kung Fu shoes was with my RPC paint suit that I just reviewed. Very comfortable on the RPC paint suit. These are actually not too bad itself. Um, I, would, I would say probably the RPC Studio Kung Fu shoes are a little bit more comfortable, uh, but these are, are probably easier to get into. And I heard from Alex, my good friend Gas and Spidey, that they had some problem with the uh, like the back of the Kung Fu shoes a while ago where they cut them off completely, but they fixed it um, this time around. And so I wouldn't really know too much about that if I, if I didn't talk to him about it because he had some suits of Kung Fu shoes. But overall, uh, I guess they fixed their Kung Fu shoes from the problems they had a bit. Um, so the features I got on this is, no, actually I did not get wrist zippers this time and I kind of wish I did, but I just kind of wanted to just go simple with it. Um, I actually got a U-shaped zipper on this, uh, so you, you know how that works. I'll show it to you first person and everything. And I got screen printed emblems. So the way I would describe this is like jersey fabric on the front emblem. Like it feels kind of like the lettering on the jersey. A uh, little interesting there. Um, and on the back, it's actually, it kind of feels a little raised. It's not the jersey fabric. It's actually kind of like, not like foam, but like, not urethane, not foam, but it's a little raised. It's not like the front emblem. And I, I low-key kind of wish that they used this on the front and back, or no, the back and front, because they used it on the back. Um, so it's a little interesting how they, they how they did that. I think it might be because that the uh, black fabric intersects the red here, and they kind of like print it like the jersey fabric from the uh, front, because this is mostly just on the red. They could just print that on no problem. So I'm very interested to know if this is like on the other suits of theirs, like on the back, or if this is just an exclusive like cane for this costume. I don't know. Never had screen printed emblems from Zen Zen before. First time doing it, so interesting stuff there. Um, but yeah, no, so and I, I wish I got a neck zipper, but it's actually not too hard. Also, I want to talk about how this costume feels. This costume feels very silky. It feels very comfortable. Uh, it's not like their other fabrics from Zentai Zone, where it's like durable. Well, actually, this is pretty durable, I would say. It's very stretchy. Um, if you guys have ever just had a plain color costume, uh, sorry, if you guys have ever just had a plain color fabric like suit, like a uni color suit from Zentai Zen before, it feels exactly like this because they use the same fabrics there. And I actually love the way it feels. It, it feels super smooth. In fact, this costume I'm wearing right now um, is actually one of their base color fabric suits. And it feels better than this, actually. It feels very smooth, silky and all that. This feels smooth and silky, but like I, I can't describe like... It has a different feeling. Like it feels very soft. This feels amazing. <laughs> like it feels. It's probably one of the best suit feeling suits. I would say like the the most stretchable, most best. Like I don't know how to describe it, guys. It just feels great. That's that's what we're gonna say. It feels great. Feels great. Definitely recommend. Um, and so yeah, basically, if you guys don't know the rundown color fabrics, is that the reason that uh, it's very good to get color fabrics is that. When you're in a dye sub suit, if you stretch, you know, you'll have like white showing up on your joints and all that because on the other side of the suit, it's printed on white spandex. So like everything, every time you stretch, it will just be white. This is beautiful. I love the rich colors here. No white in the stretch and obviously because, you know, it's on black and red fabric. Um, very, very, very good job done by Zen Tai Zen. I very much appreciate the work here. Also very much appreciate the work Logan put into this pattern. Thank you again, Logan, for that. I really appreciate it, dude. You're the best. Um, <laughs> so everyone go follow Logan, everyone go get yourself a Zentai Zen color fabric suit because I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've done it. Uh, and I'm very proud to be reviewing this costume. So, 
uh, one of a kind design, special to me. Spectacular Scar Spire 118 Scar Spire costume. Very cool stuff. So I'm going to take you guys in the first person view and then we're going to go put this on. All right, guys, here we are again. First person view mode. Sorry about the terrible lighting. Got my lamp on right now. Storming outside, bad lighting in general. Uh, well, my lamp over there is kind of like a, one of those older yellow bulbs or like something that's a little bit more yellowish. So it's not like white. So you're not getting premium lighting. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, no. Great deep black here. Great stuff. Got the uh, mask zipper. You can't even see it because everything's black. So I'm, I'm super thrilled about the colors on this, guys, especially the black coming out very rich. Um, but yeah, so this red might be turning out a little orange in this film because, again, the lamp's distorting the colors a bit. So I don't really have any other good place to film this besides my bed. <laughs> um, so yeah, good stuff here. Good color stuff. Um, got the U-shaped zipper. I'll show you that like, in, action, uh, in action in a minute. So... Good stuff, got the gloves. Um, basically, so this this stuff right here, um, the screen printed emblem, like I said, it's like jersey fabric a little bit. So it's very interesting. The f I don't think it can rub off as far as I can tell. It's very, it seems very durable, at least in my opinion. Um, so interesting stuff. And the reason I had to do this is that the if I did not get the screen printed emblems, it would be muddied, like on the colors. So like the black would be like a muddy red if when they print it on here. So guys, I definitely recommend you to get the screen printed emblems. I don't think you can do a color fabric suit without them, at least from Zentai Zone, because if they try sewing like black fabric, I mean, they could have, they might have been able to do it for this. I don't know. No, probably not, because that gets very thin on the legs there. So you, you're going to have to probably get screen printed emblems, and they're very durable. They're very good. This feels super great, and it looks great too. It definitely pops off. Definitely like that. So you get down here, you know, basically, I'll show you the whole suit when I put it on in a second. So flip it over. <laughs> I'm terrible at flipping stuff over. So yeah, here we are. This back emblem, like it, it looks, I probably can't tell on camera. Yeah, there you go. Right there on the, on that leg. It, it's, it's raised. It's actually kind of raised. I don't know what material this is because it's definitely not the same material as the front spider. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Like, it doesn't feel like foam and it doesn't feel like urethane. Maybe it's a mix of something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it goes up into the black here and then goes into the red. I like that. Uh, good job again, Logan, on the pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the U-shaped zipper and it's going to show you the inside and the intricacies, sorry, intricacies, I can't speak, of their sewing and guys, if you're getting a uh, color fabric suit, actually, I don't think I mentioned this yet. You're going to probably have to get a U-shaped zipper as well because, um, or at least I had to for this, because if I got a vertical zipper, it would intersect this back logo here and it would not go, it would not turn out well. Um, so you're probably going to have to get screen printed and ones and you're probably going to have to get a uh, U-shaped zipper. Am I the only one who actually just is infuriated of U-shaped zippers. And it's not even Zenta's fault because it's the same thing in RPC Studio is uh, U-shaped zippers. I actually just really don't like U-shaped zippers. They're, they're infuriating for me to get into. I really just don't like U-shaped zippers at all. I much prefer vertical zippers. I've had U-shaped zippers in the past, so this is not a new problem for me. I've actually just despised them this entire time. Um, I guess it's just because most of my suits have vertical zippers. I just prefer it and I just, I can get, my, my arms are hella long, so it's not even hard for me to reach over my back and do it. So I just don't like U-shaped zippers, but it's fine here, I guess. Um, so yeah, intricacies of the sewing on the inside, pretty good stuff here. I mean, yeah, I really like kind of how it looks in the back here. Got all the crazy stuff here. Very good stuff. I I very much, very much like what they did here. So good job, Sensei Zone. Good job, Logan, on the pattern. Then I'm going to show you the concrete shoes. Bring them up. Everything's dark. Everything's super black. But good stuff here. Never getting soles again. This stuff is very good. Very comfortable. Good concrete shoes overall. Very comfortable stuff. Very easy to get into. Easier than RPCs, but that's probably because RPC Studio, the, the paint suit I have probably is just more delicate. So it's not as easy for me to kind of like bend and get in there and all that. So good stuff so yeah all right guys now that i've shown you the first person view i'm gonna go put the costume on all right everyone here it is spectacular scar spur 118 scar spur design <laughs> i should just call this the spectacular scar spur suit that's what it's gonna be called spectacular scar spur <laughs> 
But otherwise, look at this beauty. No fading whatsoever when I bend my joints at all. The stitch work is insane in this thing. Obviously, you have very intricate parts like this and up here and all that. Zenta Zen knocked it out of the park when they stitched this thing together. Absolutely no problems whatsoever in that regard. Everything is beautiful. Look at the screen print emblem. Everything looks pretty cool here. It gets a little wrinkled sometimes, but that's kind of expected of the material it's used out of. So great stuff overall. I feel very comfortable in this thing. It feels very light. No, no heavy fabrics. If there's one thing I can't stand when it comes to Spider-Man cosplay, it's like very, very heavy, thick fabrics. Sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it can just not work at all. And just right now, feeling very thin and very light, it feels very good. Very silky feeling. I very much, very much, very much like that feeling because I love the feeling of actual fabric, like the color fabrics more than I do like the dye sub fabrics. Just because I have a lot of experience with Synthes and color fabrics. Obviously, like I said earlier, my Scarlet Spider Ben Riley suit is color fabrics. My Venom suit's color fabrics. My Shredder costume is color fabrics, or at least the undersuit is. And having this being color fabric is great stuff. Um, different different quality from like RPG Studios color fabrics because like that's obviously a little bit more thicker because of the screen print and all that. So that makes sense. But right here, everything works perfectly. Everything looks great. So I'm just gonna stand up and show you guys the design overall. Obviously, you got the front, the sides like this, great stuff with the arm up. I really, really like, sorry, I'm going to sit down for a second. I really like how they did this, and it just looks, it looks great. It works great. I, it looks exactly like the concept that I made, and it looks exactly like the pattern the legging made, so it's great stuff overall. Again, on the other side, I'm going to turn around. I don't know how well this is getting picked up, but uh, great stuff overall, great stuff. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm going to show you the boots as well. Great stuff here. I don't know how well this is picking up. Um, also, I want to note, the Zenta Zen's Kung Fu shoes are very, very comfortable. They are very good. I'm never getting soles from them again. I highly recommend the Kung Fu shoes. They feel very good. I can see myself doing a lot of crazy crap in this costume with the Kung Fu shoes, so I highly recommend the Kung Fu shoes. Obviously, they printed this on or else they wouldn't have been able to get the uh, spider logo or even the symmetrical pattern or anything. So obviously, they printed on here. I just don't think the texture showed up at all, so that sucks. So if you're trying to get textures on your suit for Zenta Zen color fabric, it probably won't show up. I don't know for sure because this costume's textures were kind of very subtle, like with the dock textures and everything, and then obviously the black just faded everything out because like it's dark, you can't really print too much on black fabric. That's why they always print stuff on white fabric. And honestly, I just love the look of, again, I know I'm saying this a lot, but I love how it shines in the light, and I love how... Like the colors are very vibrant. That's another thing you get with color fabrics is how vibrant it is. Because on dye sub suits, and you might have seen this with my other Scarlet Spider and Spider Man costumes, like the older Kane costumes, my anti ox suit, stuff like that, where like it's, it has a lot of black on it and just gets very faded and just doesn't look that good. This black is super rich, super vibrant, never gonna fade. Everything looks great. I'm super happy with this costume, guys. So Zenta Zen is definitely stepping up their game. They're getting in the color fabric business and they're doing it right. I definitely appreciate it. Definitely approve of Zento Zone's color fabrics. So guys, if you want a color fabric Spider-Man suit, go to Zento Zone and go get yourself one. If you want to know how to do it, you basically go through the custom sewing and printing, and you go through the entire process like you would usually get a custom suit from Zento Zone, except this time you go down to the additional comments slash option box, and you type in the comments that you want printed on color fabric, and you specify which colors, because this costume, I did that. That's how they told me to do it in the emails. Uh, I have more videos going in depth about it, and maybe I'll make a full video just about how to get a color fabric costume in general. So, please, guys, like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, especially if they're looking to get the color fabric Spider Man suit from Zenta Zen. Very, very cheap, very affordable. This thing, I almost forgot to mention this. This thing cost me like $125 after the discount code and with all the additional options and all that. So, very, very good stuff. So yeah guys, like, subscribe, share the video, especially if your friends are wanting to get this color fabric spider costume. Very cheap, very affordable. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about this costume down below in the comments. What do you think of the spectacular scar spider costume? What do you think about Zenta Zen's color fabrics? Let me know down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So thanks everyone for watching. Spectacular scar spider 118 out. Peace. I am superior to you in every way possible. Look at you. Look at that ridiculous amount of muscle shading you have on. Look at those eyes. Those lenses. 
You don't even have a face shield. Or a mask zipper. This thing sucks. God, you're not even on color fabric. Oh, but what's this? You have soles? Wait a minute. No, you don't. This thing's a piece of crap. Ah, <sighs> superior to you in every way possible. Ten points. Eleven. <laughs>